All right, I'm just throwing goat baits today. Really effective way to fish. I don't think I've done this all year. So I wanted to do something different. I fish goat bowl every year, but I like to fish different ways, different styles. But uh, this is probably one of the most effective way to catch fish is with goat, just hands down. Oh, snapper. Maybe I'll keep him for bait. I don't know. Wow, there we go. Now we got some flu. right in front of me. I'm probably going to get up on the bank, maybe cast along the bank. They're going to be in just pretty close, I think. Nothing crazy yet. I'm just looking for a nice body of fish and then maybe we'll rack some up. But just picking at whatever's around with the gulp. Uh, super bait. This stuff is really deadly. If there's anything around, we are going to catch it. I know that. That should be fish. If they're here, they'll be swimming around our feet. But you can see the gulp really looks great in the water. Get a cast. I'm casting long, short, uh, into rips on the shore. I'm going to do it long. And I let it swing in. Two different things with it. No, nothing regular till I find out where the fish may be hanging. Well, the tide is still right now, but the fishing's a little slow. But we're making about what we can of it. And there's a lot of boat traffic. A lot, a lot of boat traffic right now. Hopefully that eases off. Today I'm just uh, wade fishing for fluke. There's a lot of boat traffic today. Um, but I'm using gulp bait. And uh, casting for a fluke, I'll show you how I'm rigged. Uh, but a really effective way to fish for a fluke uh, is with boat bait. And I'll do it every now and then. Uh, I like to fish all different kinds of ways. And uh, we'll see what we get today. It's looking good, so. We're baiting the water. Things moving around. And there should be some fluke and who knows what else. I'm just using the boat baits, the Berkeley boat. about to get out of this area. That's a little better. I'm going to take a few more casts through here before we get out. Check my gulp. Well, oh, there's bigger ones out there. When I'm weight fishing for fluke and I pick one up or I get a bite, I'll be moving in the direction of the current a lot of times. What I'll do is I'll, if I get a hit or a fish, I'll backtrack and go through that area again. And the whole idea is cover a lot of water with these coke baits while you're weight fishing. It's a really enjoyable way to fish, really effective, and you never know what you're going to get with the coke. It certainly are big fish about. It's going to work out until the tide comes in. A little smaller fish here. Maybe when the water comes up, I'm going to work back inside. Maybe it'll be something maybe a little bigger. Again, I am using a Berkeley Gulp uh, today, and this is the four inch swimming mullet uh, in white, pearl white. And uh, I'm just using a, this is a 2 0, I'm going to change this. This is a, this held up. 
crabs are okay today. That's the bait right there. And uh, it's four inches. And uh, that's about a 2.0. That's a Gamakatsu bait holder. They're pretty sharp. And what I do is I am Carolina rigging with the gold baits today. So that's about 18 inches. I had a little longer earlier. Of course, the shorter you make it, the lower it's going to ride in the water. And I'm using a one ounce. Uh, you can use any. I could be using lighter right now because the current's kind of slow. Uh, but I'm going to stick with one. I could fish it right through the tide. One and a half is good too if you want to kind of hang your bait a little longer and get it down quicker. I've done well with one and a half, two ounces, and swift moving currents. Um, if it starts ripping, I'll change that that uh, egg sinker later. That's just a barrel swivel. This is just Carolina rigging, and I just snelled my bait hook on, and I just uh, hook them right up to my swimming mullet. I'll show you that later. Whoa, that's a good one. Surprisingly, I don't have a bigger fish yet. Just inhale that. That's the thing with these here bolts. That's the best thing to do. I hope will rust out. Uh, that's a 2.0 Gamakatsu bait hook. And actually, I prefer the 2.0 uh, worm hook, but uh, I'm just using this today because I felt like using these. And I just go through top of the gulp, get it a little through, kind of down by the fin, slide her up. You leave a little bit of a little bit of nub there on your line, and then you work that in. And that'll hold. And now we're fishing. Once we get to the water. The general re retrieve is a lift, drift, and a drop. And uh, just cover a lot of water. And you can adjust the weight for your drift. I've just been using one ounces all day. But you can, if you got faster current, you want to go to a heavier uh, weight, uh, slower meandering currents, you want to go to a lighter weight. That's about it. And you can just even let it go and sit there, and that thing will just twirl around in the current and do what it wants. This is a little guy. I Wait, I tell you, they can be. That's the biggest one yet, and I thought he was the smallest. Well, you gotta be a monster and lurking around. 
that's the thing with these here gold baits is you're gonna get a lot of smaller fish that's why i think you use them all summer you may not see a keeper um, those little fish grab them and those bigger fish just don't have a chance to find your bait they're faster slicker and more aggressive than larger fish and uh, gold is just an aggressive bait for the fluke summer flounder Fish. Although they look like they're getting bigger. Seem to be a patch of them now. Well, they kind of come and go the food, and they seem to be good size. It's a 1984 keeper. Really good hooks up there. fix this here gulp then you can just I'll go through the bottom top until it gets completely worn the crab's been gracious to us today and a lot of times they'll just eat up that gulp no nothing big unless you get a surprise here 